Hello and welcome to Channel's Book Club. I am Ola Kunle Kasumo. You must have heard that English novelist Kazuo Ishiguro was recently announced by the Swedish Academy as the winner of the 2017 Nobel Prize for Literature. The English novelist is perhaps most known for his Man Booker Prize award-winning novel, The Remains of the Day. He is also the author of Never Let Me Go, An Artist of the Floating World, A Pale View of Hills, and the buried giant. But how about Africa's biggest literary prize and one of the biggest in the world in terms of prize money and participation? I'm talking about the Nigeria Prize for Literature. The 2017 winner of this big prize has emerged. I'll leave you to catch who he is at a press conference organized by the sponsor of the prize, the Nigeria Liquefied Natural Gas Company, NLNG. For 14 years, the Nigeria Liquefied Natural Gas Company, NLNG, has sponsored both the Nigeria Prize for Science and the Nigeria Prize for Literature. The Literature Prize is the biggest in Africa, with a cash award of $100,000, which is about 35 million naira, to an outstanding Nigerian writer. As journalists and guests wait eagerly for the unveiling of the 2017 winner of the Nigeria Prize for Literature, three writers of poetry are in contention. Tanure Ojaide, Ike Oguoke, and Ogaga Ifowodo. But before the announcement, the prize is placed within the context of NLNG's commitment to Nigeria. We are focused on Nigeria. Our vision is to help to build a better Nigeria and raise the stakes for our country in the international market. But as I had mentioned, we are devoted also to doing social good. I think sometime this week, mid this week perhaps, we'll probably be witnessing the flag of, of what might easily be Africa's biggest CSR venture, where Nigeria LNG will publicly be committing beside the Vice President of the Federation to support the federal government with 60 billion naira to build a road linking Boni to Bodo. It's unprecedented in the history of our country. Then comes the time for the big news. Professor Meritus Ayobanjo, the chairman of the advisory committee, has the responsibility of announcing the winner. After diligent considerations and critical objective application of the guidelines and criteria, the judges decided to recommend as the 2017 winner of the Nigeria Prize for Literature Ikeogu Okes, the Heresiad. This decision is based on its apt topicality, relevance, artistic heft, and the pursuit of artistic provenance in a world increasingly threatened by encroaching totalitarianism and even barefaced tyranny and intolerance. The wit, the wisdom, and message of the heresiad are infinitely crucial. So it's Ikeo Guoke who takes the big prize. Oke is a Nigerian poet, writer, journalist, and communication analyst. After the winner is announced, this year's external consultant for the prize, Her Excellency Abina Busia, a professor of literature and Ghana's ambassador to Brazil, shares her perspective. In the end, I think we chose the Heresiad because it is a bold and wonderful experiment. I am a poet myself, and to come upon a collection of over a hundred pages of sustained 
heroic couplets. Part of me thought, had he lost his mind? I mean, this is an extraordinary, an extraordinary artistic feat that could have fallen flat and become pedantic were it not in the hands of a really skilled person who knows how to control voice and how to be a storyteller. And recites from the winning book, Ikyo Guoke's The Heresiad. I shall sing of how, eschewing strife, gracious reason saved an author's life. And a monarch stirred up a row against a scorn as he fled and blew his loud belligerent horn. Ha! That's a mortal stepping on my toes, whose proud impels to take sides with my foes. And he charged his faithfuls with stern dispatch. Go, turn all the kingdoms patch by patch, dig him out and fling him down to hell while still dripping with my acid spell. It's not our custom yet to spare a man who dares to glean our faults as best he can. Such a man of learning, strike him dead and bring before my throne his upright head. Ignore his soul, or what may prove his luck, rather lose a land than forgo all the flock. For such a man, if left to thrive on earth, may void our honor and enforce our death. Yes, death's the proper fate that awaits him. I charge you now to move and quench his dream. Ungracious though I know this is, let Zumba die. I've marked a valley where his corpse will lie. Thus, with lightning in his eyes, thunder in his voice, the king dispatched his faithful, yes, his boys. Speaking thus, for all who cared to hear, the ears of men began to twitch in fear.